I've got in my hands here a full page advertisement that the emergency leaders for climate action in Australia and the Climate Council have put into today's edition of the Times. I'm here at COP26 to raise the voices of people with the lived experience of the catastrophes that are already occurring as a result of climate change. After 20 years of living an idyllic tree change retirement, my parents lost their house when three fire fronts combined over Lake Conjolo in a massive firestorm. And once we'd worked out that they were safe, the thing that really stuck with us was the loss of our family heirlooms. You know, every family has them, the old photographs, the old crockery, the things that are handed down from mothers, from grandparents, from great-grandparents. In our particular case, our family heirlooms had come to us when our grandmother and our great-grandparents had fled Nazi Germany 80 years before. And sad to say, while these items that meant so much to us had survived and had escaped Nazi Germany, they couldn't survive an Australian summer. And it made us realise that while my family initially sought safety in Australia, Australia was no longer a safe place to be. I live in a part of the state of California, Sacramento, that is hot in the summer by any measure all the time, uh, easily over 105 degrees on any given summer day. But there is a particular despair when it's 110 degrees and the sky is on fire because the northern half of your state is burning along with the rest of the Pacific Northwest. I just wanted to first of all say thank you to the Australian people. Um, we've had a, a huge mutual aid agreement with Australia and so-called Canada for many years um, and many Australian people have come to help us battle our wildfires and um, but it's it's gonna get harder because we're actually finding that the wildfires are happening at, at the exact same time all over the world and so these mutual aid agreements while they're great um, we just don't have the people to be going back and forth across the world to help each other out this has been brought to this COP, this image, as a way of asking, begging, demanding that the Australian government start stepping up and acting in accord with the rest of the global community who are here doing a good job, pitching in, making compromises, negotiating um, and pledging, and only the Australian government and a couple of other outliers aren't managing to do this. And yet we're a, we're a country that's feeling the brunt of climate change so savagely in so many ways. 